first started Art House last year in order to present Rite of Spring at Burning Man. The theme last year was Radical Ritual, and I just thought this is like the perfect opportunity for us to bring our art form and share it with a group of people who may not be familiar with Rite of Spring and to create something really big and extraordinary. I first got involved with the project in 2017 when we started building Rite of Spring. Courtney Wise reached out to me with the idea of building a new orchestra and dance collaboration and so we built it together and everything from there has kind of evolved. Burning Man was something that I had heard about for many years and had always just been interested, uh, but never really had quite the energy to go. But this project that Courtney and Robert sort of dreamed up just seemed like a perfect opportunity. Kind of overwhelming the first year, just first time at Burning Man and doing a project of that size was a pretty wild ride. We just had this crazy excitement and this drive to make it happen no matter the cost. People always said, like, what's plan B? And we said, there is no plan B. The conditions at Burning Man are absolutely the most strenuous, the most insane conditions you could possibly imagine. Like, absolutely 0% humidity, check. Like, reeds do not work. I play on a plastic reed when I, when I go to Burning Man. Crazy dust storms that get inside your instrument and cause your instrument to stop working, check. That happens and almost ruined our, our first concert ever, actually, but miraculously, it, it didn't. The second year was a little bit easier. Logistically, I kind of knew what to expect, but we also tripled our output. We tried to narrow it down to one and, or maybe two concerts, but we just had so many ideas that we liked, we decided to do all three of them. My original idea was for pictures at an exhibition, mainly because Burning Man is a place where you can find all sorts of amazing, not just art installations, but performers. And I thought that pictures at an exhibition was a perfect opportunity to showcase all that Burning Man had to offer. With pictures at an exhibition, it really proved that anything can happen on the playa. And just about everything did happen. And we had you know, some performers not showing up, but we were really winging it. We were just flying by the seat of our pants. Robert uh, Decker is our choreographer. His idea was to take Steve Reich's Eight Lines, which is a really beautiful piece, and create this ballet around it. And uh, the nice thing about Burning Man, there's so many great art installations and things like that. As we learned what was coming to the playa that year, we sort of drew on that as inspiration. And so Robert ended up building the concept for the ballet around the orb, which was a really popular art installation this year. For iRobot, at first I was kind of looking at some like more classical works. And then I kind of decided to go a different route and kind of create a more abstract contemporary work that I titled We Human. So it was sort of my response to this idea that we're evolving and kind of the way that technology and humanity are intersecting. Wednesday night is our big ballet night. We had had our orchestra rehearsals, we had had our final preps, and everybody was out Tuesday night. We were at the camp, we got word that Robert had been performing a solo dance with a solo cello, and you know, had in his heart stopped. He went into cardiac arrest. It was this immediately this really deep hit for the group. The dancers were incredible. They got together just hours before our performance and managed to put together the choreography, or basically fill in the gaps with Robert and Christian gone. Robert and Christian were not only the choreographers and, and costume designers, but also lead dancers and soloists in this production. So uh, they did an incredible job. It was, it was a very emotional and moving performance. I was so happy that everyone decided to, you know, put the show on and, and not, not, you know, cancel it on my account. And if anything, I think that everyone really came together because I wasn't there. So many of the performers told me that, like, the whole time they were thinking about me. 
there was this part in the phrase that everyone's on the side and they're like sort of like hitting the ground. One of my friends, he said every time he was doing it, he like was imagining like like hitting like my chest to like wake up my heart again. I woke up in the hospital in Reno literally right at the time the performance ended that Wednesday night. Maybe it's coincidence, but um, I, I don't think it is. You know, I think that like that is a manifestation of like our deep interconnectedness and the fact that we you know, all touch one another in ways that we can never understand. The last one was Terry Riley's In C this beautiful minimalist piece. And we took a while to sort of figure out where we were gonna do it, but then Radio Lumia sort of unveiled their big project for the year. So that it, it just made a perfect pairing. People at Burning Man wanna participate, and I really love that, you know, over the course of this year's burn, we had pieces that were for very skilled musicians and dancers, for people who were more recreational, and then we, you know, doing Terry Riley's in C, where everyone that wanted to participate could. I think it was so beautiful. People want to be a part of art. We want to, like, experience things, especially because we are so disconnected from day to day. Art has the ability to, like, give people that true presence and mindfulness of, of being. We were exhausted. You know, we had done this big project Wednesday night, big project Thursday, turned it around for a Friday sunrise performance, and someone stopped a few of us and actually said, like, thank you, I didn't know it, but I needed that. I think that Art House is really our opportunity to make classical music our own as kind of the millennial generation, and then to share it with all of our friends because we're part of this generation that's very forward-thinking, very innovative, very collaborative, but a lot of that doesn't always reach to classical music. You know, classical music sort of has this purist mentality, and we really feel like getting it out there and collaborating with other artists and making it this bigger experience beyond the concert hall is how we can keep people interested and keep classical music exciting and keep it alive and really share our art with our generation. We believe that people want to hear classical music and we have seen with our own eyes people getting so excited to come to our concerts. I think we're most excited to make people realize that that music is just as relevant and poignant as any other music that they might be familiar with or listening to. Burning Man's like this open platform to kind of express yourself in whatever way and then taking that sort of freedom of expression, bringing it back into our everyday lives. One of the funny things about Burning Man is that art just kind of does miraculously appear in front of you. This incredible, creative, large-scale, works and the fact that we get to collaborate with these installations is amazing and incredible but sometimes people don't realize that it takes a ton of work and resources and fundraising yes you come to Burning Man it, it is just there for you it is there and we as a community are creating it for you and we're so excited to bring it to you but also oh my god support arts back where you are in the default world because it is not just coming you know raining down uh, miraculously, we are working sweat, blood, and tears to bring it to you. Someone was actually asking me the other day, like, why do you do all this work if you're not getting paid? Like, what's in it for you? And the idea of presenting Rite of Spring, say, with a full orchestra and 50 performers with fire spinners and contortionists and dancers and this, like, crazy LED tree, like, I don't have the resources to make that happen. And so it's only because of this like gifting culture that with everyone sharing and giving of their time, of their energy, of their imagination, and we're able to make these kind of larger than life experiences. I think spectacle is, is, is a big aspect of Art House. So we want to bring this idea of spectacle and amazing music and just bring it into the different spaces that Art House might be invited into. We just want to see people's jaw drop whenever they see whatever we've created.